Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button, it helps a lot. And also keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are after market close on Friday, October 29th. We're going to take a look at SoFi. Now, I wasn't going to do a SoFi video tonight unless it closed over $20 or there was something weird that came up that I wanted to share or something unexpected. I don't know about weird. And both happened. So in the video, we're going to do a short update on the chart. I don't think a ton has changed, but it's sort of like reconfirmed a couple of things. And then I'll sort of go through the uh, thing that popped up that I thought was a little bit uh, surprising or odd and cover my two cents on it for the moment. Everything is always shifting as we know. But this is the intraday on SoFi. Now, I think that this close above 20 is actually a really good show of strength because I, you know, I would suspect in folks who are certainly tied to max pain theory and or just think that it's much more advantageous for market makers to expire tons of calls out of the money so that those shares don't have to be delivered to folks who exercise them. Um, you know, I think that makes a lot of sense. And right here, these 10,819 open interest on the $20 call options expiring in the money for today. And so to me, that either says for some reason that wasn't on the radar of market makers and, you know, they didn't care, or there was just enough pressure and enough strength coming into SoFi, maybe especially around this period. And then as the VWAP got bought up, three times in the last, what, uh, hour and a half of the day? What time? I hate this, 1433. So 233. So yeah, the last hour and a half of the day, um, maybe they, you know, they just weren't able to place it where they wanted to, and it just sort of soared into close as well. Um, but pretty interesting movement, I thought. Now, the flip side of that is is not really the flip side, but something sort of odd if it was just sort of the case that they couldn't keep up with the buying pressure that was coming in is the volume was so low. The volume, this will be higher, you know, by the time all is said and done and everything is counted, but 11,419,000. Um, so quite a bit lower than we've seen most days in the recent past. And, um, you know, so I don't exactly know what to make of that. But, you know, regardless, it, it doesn't really matter because um, we, we trade the market that we're given and uh, just try to make sort of sort of speculate on things that seem kind of likely. And I did kind of think it, them pinning it just under $20 did seem very likely. And it certainly seemed like that. Oh, this is not the, this is not the intraday anymore, but it mostly uh, seemed like that throughout the day. Right. Especially, I mean, down here. And then when this happened, it was just kind of like, okay, this is a bull trap, right? That was sort of my reaction to that. Um, and then when it bounced off this VWAP, I mean, it was still just sort of like hovering in that territory where they, you, you know, you had the sense that they could just pull the rug out or pin it down. Um, and they just couldn't stick it to the VWAP, um, which would have placed it, you know, under $20 because that VWAP at this point is right around 1990. So pretty interesting um, to the extent to which any of that sort of they wanted it to expire out of the money, the $20 calls, meaning, um, and they weren't able to, I would take that as uh, a solid sign of strength. So I don't really know what else to make of it, to be honest. On the daily chart, it does keep this play strongly in place as well. This wedge here. Now this is f a fairly symmetrical wedge. And I know this doesn't line up with these tops, but this lines up with the longer trend downtrend resistance, right? Just happens to be intersecting with what we're seeing here at the beginning of this um, pull back up after we had a few red days here down over three and a half percent and over three and a half percent again. So sort of back to back minus three and a half percent days and now coming back almost three and a half percent and then almost one percent, but walking right up this upward support trend line at the moment. So we'll see what that means. Um, also, volume still continuing to die down quite a bit, like I just said. Uh, and I really wouldn't be shocked if folks do get potentially a little cagey going into earnings based on what happened last time. That said, I think given, I don't know, certain pers perspectives or prospects or pers perspecti um, <laughs> and 
uh, folks wanting to place profits from other tickers, maybe uh, in a similar space, like maybe folks from, um, you know, Lending Club, for example, uh, who are looking to place profits in a similar like fintech type space, um, or even ah, the symbol is is escaping me. I have like apps stuck in my head, but it's not apps. I have a firm stuck in my head, but that's an upstart. <laughs> upstart. I just did a video on that last night. Um, you know, folks looking to maybe place bets elsewhere who were able to take good profits off of this big bull run that got really crazy and now it's kind of been pulling back, you know, and so for any folks who are sort of taking those profits off the table and looking to place them elsewhere, it wouldn't shock me if they take a strong look at SoFi at least and that it's on their radar. Whether or not they pull the trigger, who knows, but, um, you know, it is pretty interesting. I'm looking at this at the moment, so I kind of want to see if I can drag this back at this. Yeah. Okay. So this is put in place. I mean, this draws back not quite well, kind of there. I mean, this draws back quite a bit, actually. Um, so just kind of like spotting things here. I mean, could place it wherever, right? It doesn't shift it that much. Um, I'll place it there for now. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing on the chart on the weird, weird, weird world of SoFi end of things. Uh, flip over here. So this came across to me today. Wow, SoFi, let's get it. Uh, this was at almost 2.30 in the afternoon. And it's this article, I guess, from Seeking Alpha. I don't know if just anyone can write things on Seeking Alpha. I, I didn't think so, but I don't really know. Um, but this is just an undergrad student at University of Maryland Smith School of Business. Uh, so <laughs> what like what he has that tells him that this is correct, I have no idea. This actually came out on October 21st, it looks like. I also don't know if there, there's like an edit that was made here and now it's resurfacing um, with an edit of November 1st date. Some folks are speculating that. Um, but I mean, you know, the comments are, you know, <laughs> quite uh, interesting to read through. But anyway, this came to me and I just thought this seems kind of odd. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> since we've been sharing this daily, we might as well cap it off. Nothing really changed with the short interest today, plus 0.38%, still under 10% uh, estimated by Ortex. Nothing really changes with the days to cover, cost to borrow, or utilization. Um, you know, very, very small changes in all of those numbers. So nothing that I'm, you know, thinking about raising a flag about there. So interesting week, interesting way to finish it off. Glad that we bounced off of this purple zone. You can go back and watch that video. That would have been from uh, probably Wednesday when we talked about the purple bounce zone and why I thought that that was important. Um, I'm glad to see that we're continuing to walk up this and um, yeah, looking for that volume to come back in any day, any week now, but we'll see. All right, folks. So I hope that your trading week went well and that you have an enjoyable weekend ahead. And as always, I appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next video.